Okay, so this here is a rectifier. This rectifier came out of a an alternator, a GM alternator, which was made into a PMA that I purchased from Wild Nature Solutions. And um, when I ordered the PMA, I forgot to specify that I just wanted the uh, three-phase output. So this it came in hooked set up for 24 volts, um, which is this post right here. Um, so I took it out and I put a harness on it and put this in my drawer and now I'm thinking that I should make use of it. So I'm looking at it going, huh, I've got a positive, positive is connected to the heat sink, I don't know, got these three posts coming out, which is where the AC comes out. Well, actually it's AC in. It's kind of come off the coil in three different points off of the coil that's on the outside of the uh, permanent magnet alter armature. And uh, they connect to here. And then you take off your 24 volts, 12 volts, 48, depending on your wiring. Um, and I kept looking at it, trying to figure out, well, gee, there's an insulator. It keeps it from touching ground. What's all that about? And I finally figured out that these little things right here, there's one on this side, and there's one over here, is an insulator that insulates this half from this half. This half, the top half, is positive. The bottom half is negative. It mounts to the frame of the PMA through this mounting post and this mounting post, mounting hole, mounting hole. Um, and it mounts directly to the frame of the PMA, which is going to be your ground, uh, or minus, or both, which actually it is both, because you're going to connect all your negatives through your system to a grounding bus, which is then going to go to a grounding post uh, into your earth ground so that everything is safe. And um, so, as you've seen on my other uh, things hooked up to um, the watts meter and, you know, fancy this, fancy that, I'm going to put one of these on there and uh, take off my 24 volt positive from here and my negative from the post that are going to mount it. And uh, it will be all pretty. But I just thought I'd share this video because I was confused because I'm not an automotive techie. And they're probably like thinking, oh, you dumb fool. And I'm going, huh. I even looked up the manufacturer of this thing. And you would think that the manufacturer would have information about this. Yeah, good luck with that one. So they have information about it, but not on how to wire it. Because they're going to think you're putting it into an alternator. So, that's a quick video. Enjoy.